and welcome back to Live Twist. We're going to kick straight on into things now. Uh, something that troubles a lot of people out there, I know it troubles me, dating. Uh, what to do and more importantly, what not to do on that first date, hugely important. Uh, Dale, I believe you have some tips and tricks for us, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. I've got a few tips here of what not to do on a first date. So hopefully our audience can uh, learn a thing or take two. Take some here. notes, take oh, some yeah, notes. For sure. All right, let's get started. Uh, the first tip. Now, as you know, we've had a few recent hailstorms here in Perth. So when you drive to the date to, in your one and only automobile, do not drive a hail damaged car. This is a fail. And also, make sure you have a, a decent license plate uh, registration number because the last time I got to get my plates renewed and I got new plates, the license plate gave me one dick. I mean... I don't think that was an accident. Well, uh... sure, well, I, I think they got that right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so obviously do not do that. And then, uh, because if you, get, 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 if you get that happen to you, then all of a sudden your friends are calling you fail or one dick and it, it never ends. You're stuck I... with it for, your life, for life, pretty much. Technically, I think that is the correct number. So... Any more or less than that? No, I'll, I'll give you another tip because you've humil humiliated me enough now. So, uh, the next tip. Now, if you have no upper arm muscles, do not wear a short sleeve shirt. You can't have your date think that you're built like a weakling, okay? That's, that's also very important because um, now they might, they might, even if you're really good in the sack, they have to like what they see up here before they see down there. Very important. That's true. You don't tend to lead with the bottom half. Exactly, exactly. We could try, but... Yeah, you know, doesn't tend too, to go too risky. well. Yeah, too uh... risky. Yeah, exactly. Now, uh, the tip number three, do not put a comment on Facebook right before the date saying something like, going on a date tonight and hope it'll be a late one. <laughs> because uh, your date will be Facebook stalking you, and as should you to them. So um, comments like this could lead to sort of last-minute cancellations, and the last thing you want is... Uh, like a cancelled date and confusion. Yeah, someone's, so, someone's grandma yeah. dying last minute just exactly. beforehand. Exactly. And for freak's sakes, make sure you have a good profile pic and a good cover pic because they will judge you on it, don't they? Yeah, we do. Oh, yes. It's true. Very true. Yeah. Uh, the next tip, do not go to a date tired. Very important as well. This could lead to yawning or perhaps even farting, you know, inappropriate times. And, but then again, if, they, if you do fart and they stick around, then obviously you have to... Well, marry them, of course. That's a keeper. That it's very is a much keeper. a keeper, yeah. Yep. But seriously, tiredness can lead to headaches. It can lead to lack of concentration and poor performance in the uh, in the bedroom. Could you maybe try out the the, the whole oh I'm getting tired mood? You could try like, that there. That... Yeah, it is very old fashioned, but I mean, yeah, hey, it's worth a shot. I mean, if you've gotten to that stage, I mean, there's, I mean, there's a very she good might, chance. She might like a bit of a vintage move. You yeah, know, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, um, maybe our viewers can try that out this week and get back to us for next week, and uh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Let, let us know. Let yes, us know if please. any of those tips do or don't work out for you. And uh, Dale, we'll be back with more. I've got some more tips as well, oh, actually. Yeah. He's not even finished. Yes. Uh, the next one is don't tell a date. And this one is very, very important. Don't tell a date that you support Colin Barnett's shark culling. Because that will cost you further activity straight away. People are either highly against it or they just really don't, don't care about it. So either way, you know... Just don't mention it to them. But a good way to ease it, if you accidentally do say that you follow, follow the shark culling, just say, if we don't cull the sharks, that means that um, we, we can stop Sharknado from happening. And uh, last but not least, this is the very last one, don't tell them that you have a crappy job like a, a Saturday basketball manager or you're a premiership counter for the Dockers. Tell them that you're <laughs> a celebrity for West TV. Yeah. Uh, yes, thank you. That's your lot, ladies and gentlemen. Follow my tips and you'll be top dog. You'll be super dog. There you go. Hear those whoops and cheers? Clearly, West TV Celebrity is the number one occupation for the ladies. Uh, Dale speaking from experience clearly there.